Now let's talk about the use callback hook. Use callback is a hook that will return a memorized version of the callback function that only changes if one of the dependencies has changed. Memorization is a way to cache a result so that it doesn't need to be computed again. This can boost your performance. To understand how use callback works, we need to check out what problem it can solve. Let's understand a very simple example to understand how use callback hook work in the React application. At the top right here, I'm simply going to first import React, use state, and use callback. Just after that, inside this app component right here, I'm simply going to create a constant use state. And I'm going to name this variable count and set count. Just after that, I'm also going to create another use state. And I'm going to name that other counter and set other counter. Just for that, inside this division tag right here, I'm going to create a button. So I'm going to add here a button and then I'm going to specify on click event on it. And this is the handler function of this button. So I'm going to just create this handler function at the top. I'm going to say here constant increment this handler function name is equal to and then pass here the handler function. And inside this, I'm going to say set count count plus one. I'm going to increase the value of this count variable by one when I click on this button. Just for that, let me do the same for decrement. Let me add here a button again with decrement handler function. Right down here, I'm going to say constant decrement is equal to, and then I'm going to pass here handler function. And here I'm going to call set count count minus one. Now, just for that, let me use this state and change the value of it. So, just down here, I'm going to create another button. So I'm going to add here a button and I'm going to specify here increment with other state. And here I'm going to say increment other counter. And let me just create that function right up here. I'm going to say constant increment other counter is equal to and then pass here a function. And inside this, I'm going to say set other counter and then I'm going to pass here other counter plus what. I'm using this last button to update the second state value, this one. Now just for that, inside this div, I'm going to say count, colon, and in the curly braces, let me print the first state, and then I'm going to say here, other count, and then I'm going to print the other count state. Let me save the changes and show you the result. When I save the changes, I'm going to have the result something like this. Let me add this statement on the next line. So let me just add that inside a division tag, something like this. Now you can see inside this app, we have two states. First for the count and second for the other count. When we click on this increment and this decrement button, it's going to increase the value of this first count. And by using this decrement button, we are going to decrease the value of this first count. Now, when I click on this increment with other state, it's going to change and update the value of this second use state. When I click on it, you can see. But the problem here is when the component re renders, every function inside of this component is recreated and therefore these functions reference change between renders. We can visualize this using set data structure by adding each function to it. Why set data structure? Because it only stores unique values. So at the top, what if I say constant functions counter is equal to and then we create a new set. Now because set used to store unique values, we use here set. And inside this set, I'm going to add all these three functions. I'm going to say here function counter dot add and inside this add I'm going to specify all my functions. So let me first pass this increment like this, duplicate this statement two more times. For the second statement, I'm going to pass decrement and for the third statement, I'm going to pass this increment other counter. So I'm going to add all these three handler functions to this function counter. And just after that, right down here, I'm going to say console dot log function counter. And when I save the changes, you can see inside my console, I'm going to get here three functions as a response. This is the initial render of this React component. When the component is mounted in the UI, the React is going to create three functions inside this component. But when I click on this button, let's suppose that if I increase the value of this counter, React is going to re render the component and create three more functions with new values. You can see. Inside this set, now we have six functions. If I click on this plus button again, then we are going to have nine functions in, inside this set. If I click on this decrease, you're going to get the same result. Every time when the component re-render, 
every function inside this component is recreated. So every time when you click on these buttons, it's going to increase the function count by three. Instead of this, what should happen instead is that if you increase one counter, all the functions related to that counter should be re rendered. If another state value is unchanged, it should not be changed or update. This might add performance issue. To resolve this, we can use use callback. The syntax of use callback is very simple. You're simply going to call use callback and call a callback function as a first argument. And as a second argument, you specify all the dependencies. So the use callback will return a memorized instance of the callback that only changes if one of the dependencies has changed. This means that instead of recreating the function on every re render, we can use the same function object between renders. So instead of these callback functions, I'm going to wrap these functions inside use callback. So let me just get rid of it. And here I'm going to call use callback. Now at the top, I already imported this use callback inside this import statement. So right down here, I'm going to specify parentheses. And as a first argument, you need to specify the callback function. So I'm going to pass here a callback function like this. And then as a second argument, you specify the dependencies. I will specify that later. Just for now, inside this callback function, I'm going to say set count, count plus one. Using this increment, I'm going to increase the value of this count. So I'm going to do that right inside this use callback. Just out of that, as a second argument, we pass here dependencies. So I'm going to pass here comma and in the array, I'm going to pass here count. So every time the count changes, I want to execute this callback. Let me do the same thing for this decrement. Let me copy and paste the code here to save some time. Just out of that, I'm going to do the same for this last one as well. Like this. I'm going to call here use callback. And then inside these dependencies, I'm going to pass this other counter as a dependencies. So whenever the value of this other counter changes, only then this callback function is going to execute. Let me save the changes and show you the result. Let me reload my browser. And now when I click on this plus button, you can see I'm going to get five as a response. This is because this is only going to create two more functions, this increment and this decrement. This is because we are changing the value of this count variable. Every time when I change the dependencies, this use callback is going to execute this callback function. If I click on this increment with other state, you can see I'm only going to get here six. So only one function is created inside this set. If you want to just count these functions, then you can just call here dot size. Save the changes, reload the browser, and now you can see this is going to return three functions. When I click on this increment with other state, I'm going to get four as a response. So it's going to create only one function rather creating both these functions. This is because we are just changing the value of this second state. The value of this first state remains the same. And now if you remove these dependencies right from this callback function, let me show you what would happen. Let me reload the browser and when I click on this plus button, it's going to return three. But when I click on this plus button again, it's not going to change the value because the dependencies are empty. So this will improve your application performance. So I hope you understand how to work with the use callback hook in React. Let's talk about the next React hook. 